darlings how you all doing welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing really well and enjoying your bank holiday weekend although the weather is absolutely shocking here today we've got gale force winds it's absolutely pissing it down with rain and it is freezing cold so a log fire is going to be had this evening without a doubt anyway as you can see from the title this is the long awaited house tour um a few rooms are still a bit messy and there's still a, a few bits to do but I've had so many people message me and say, will you please, please do the house tour? So I am going to do it today. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background about the property first before I take you round on the tour. Um, our property is a former village primary school it was built in 1953 so it's not really that old um, it's quite big it's all on one level so when we came to see it we absolutely fell in love with the place there's a nice bit of ground with it I'm not going to be able to show you around outside unfortunately as I say the weather is shocking but I will do um, a garden tour um, a bit further on into the future when it's all been landscaped and finished and stuff, which we're in the process of doing. Um, so, yeah, the property is a former village primary school in mid Wales in the UK. Um, we are about a thousand feet above sea level, so we're quite high up. Um, beautiful in the summer, dreadful in the winter, but wouldn't have it any other way. Absolutely love it here. Absolutely love it. It is my little piece of heaven up here. Um, so when we moved in, uh, it was as it was as a school. So we got the builders in. We was going to do it ourselves originally, but Les took ill with heart failure. So we ended up getting the builders in to come and do the building work and we just oversaw the project um it is now a four bedroom four bathroom property the living room and the kitchen are still yet to be done i'm not sure whether i'm going to show you in there because the living room is shocking it, it's just a dumping ground at the moment for absolutely everything i might show you because i know you guys don't judge so you'll be able to see um what it's like now and then in the future when it is finished finished uh, uh, you know you'll see the transformation so not sure yet i might just give you a little peep through the door just so as you can um see what it's like i'll see so basically that's it that's a bit of a backstory we we saw the we'd been looking for a while we lived in a, a motor uh, not a motor home a static caravan for three years before we found this place we looked at loads of different places churches and all sorts of things uh, but we actually fell in love with this place when we we came to see it it had been empty for four years when uh, we came to see it it had been closed down because all the kids in the village had all grown up and there wasn't enough kids to fill the school. So, you know, there was no point in keeping it open because the money and that they was losing money and stuff. So anyway, it was closed down and we was fortunate enough to find it and buy it. So. I'll take you round. Uh, I did want to do, you know, the grand entrance. Welcome to my home through the front door but that's not happening today because as i say the weather is shocking i will show you through the front door what the weather's like outside so you you know you'll understand so let's get straight into it oh by the way if you're new here uh please subscribe down below i upload weekly my name is max i upload weekly all sorts of videos from uh shopping halls 
fashion, beauty and stuff to do with our home as you can see. So it would be great to have you and it really, really would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe and pop that notification bell on so you'll be notified when I do upload. And as usual, my returning subscribers, you know I love you all. Thank you so, so much. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up. So I'm going to turn... Oh, as well, what I'm going to do is... I. When we bought the property, obviously I haven't got a YouTube channel then, so but I have got some photographs of the work in progress and what it was like before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to film each room and then I'll put some photos in so you can see what it was like during the process of the build and then I'll move on to the next room. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, you know I'm absolutely shit at editing um, so I hope you're not going to get too bored along the way because I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit lengthy this video but I'll try my best to keep it as short as possible. Uh, if you see anything and you want to know where anything is, if I miss it out I will talk you through it as I go where anything's from sorry I will talk you through it as I go but if I miss anything and you want to know anything please leave a comment down below you know I love having a chat with you guys down there so I'm going to spin the camera around and we are going to make a start I'll speak to you in a bit so guys as you can see <laughs> through my front door this is the state of the weather at the moment it is absolutely shocking but this is the view from my front door. Um, to the left is the drive, and then to the right behind the motorhome is um, the back garden. Uh, but as I say, I will do a tour of that in the future, and also the motorhome. And I'm just going to spin round here. As you can see on the wall here, this is an original painting done by the, the kiddies when they were at this school. It's all... Um, Welsh words and friendship and love and there's the Welsh dragon and flag and stuff on there and we thought this was a really quirky feature to keep so we're going to leave that up I think um, that the kids built, uh, that the kids painted sorry when they were here. So this is my entrance hall, this is my wreath hanging on the door on the inside because as you can see it wouldn't do it any good on the outside and i'll turn lights turn lights on as we go along because it is quite dark in here because it's a shit day so this is the hallway let me just turn on the the lights this is as you come in this is what you see so this is the entrance hall this stud wall along here was not there originally. We had all these walls put up to make the different rooms. Um, this entrance table I got from SCS when we bought a sofa from there. The lantern was from B&M. This glitter crushed um, diamond glitter candelabra was from a um, group on Facebook and this I just threw together myself with some of that um, fern off um, eBay I think it was and some little pine cones in a little glass vase and these candlesticks here were a Christmas present from my friend over the road there Laura Ashley candlesticks and I absolutely love them so that's um, what we've got in the hallway and let me show you the chandeliers these were a Christmas gift from, from Les to me the year that the project was almost complete so we've got one there we've actually got three of them and they're about a meter wide you can't not the camera's not actually doing them much justice really and we've got one there and there's also one down there as well so if that gives you an idea let me just stand here and show you how long this part of the hallway is so it's quite long that door to the right there is the living room and I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek it's absolute well can you see now okay I'll just sneak in and so you can see it's an absolute 
dumping ground at the moment, but this is where we spend most of our time. There's a pool table down there. We've got DJ equipment. That's my washing hanging on the dining table. Chairs to dry. And this is where we just sit and watch TV and chill out. And that's a jukebox over there. So that's it. That's all I'm showing you in that living room because it is a dog owl at the moment. Right, so... Um, this here, this cupboard, is the uh, fire alarm system, and Les just built a little cupboard around it, so it's kept, you know, out of sight. And this says, "Loving hearts make a happy home," and this says, "Enjoy the little things in life, for someday you will realise they were the big things." And then I've got my little Fortnum, Fortnum and Mason. A picnic basket there which I bought off a lady on Facebook marketplace for 15 pounds absolute bargain love it and these um, sticks here was also off a lady on Facebook marketplace with another thing I'll show you down there uh, and what we did here with the carpet we had some hard wearing carpet at the entrance so you know it didn't go on to the the good carpet, I mean, it's good carpet, it's hard wearing, but we had that little square there for people to wipe their feet on and stuff. And, it, you know, you can just clean that part and it's easier. And then I've got um curtain. Oh, look, we've got a spider. Can you see him? Harry. Harry Longlegs. It's a thing of living in the country. You have to get used to the spiders. So I've got um, a curtain up there. Curtains were from eBay. Um, just to draw over in the winter because as I say it does get freezing cold and also I've got um, what these called vertical blinds that I just draw over the door just for a bit of privacy so this is the view from this end of the hallway with the blinds shut and Around the corner here, that's the master bedroom in front. Uh, this unit here, I also bought off um, a gentleman on Facebook Marketplace. It was brand new. He was just selling quite a few of them. I've just got a few little ornaments on there. And these little shoes and bags were uh, a gift from a friend of mine who died. And I just can't part with them. So they're on there on display. This is a little Laura Ashley lantern. Uh, this was from b and I think, and you'll see buddhas around the place and also you'll see a lot of elephants. I'm obsessed. A uh, little jug here and then another little shoe and bag at the top. And then this little arrangement here. I am going to take these flowers out, I think, and get some pampas grass in, or add some pampas grass to it as well. Um, that was along with those sticks that I showed you before, again, off Facebook Marketplace. You can get some really good bargains on there, you know, if you if you take time to look. Some really nice stuff. So that um, big rattan vase with those flowers and those sticks, I think I paid a lady £15 for the two. And then this candlestick here was from a charity shop, which was £50, with just a plain candle in it. And then this cupboard here, this is the house alarm inside there. Again, Les built um, a cupboard around it just so it's, you know, away and you can't see it. And then radiators, these um, are in the hallway. We've got vertical radiators throughout apart from one room. But Les bought these with the um, mirrors in so i had got a full length mirror to look into and you know see full length come here my scruffs today jeez couldn't read i've even still got my slippers on look and my jeans oh well does it matter so yeah and there's the heating regulator so yes guys that's the hallway i will um as i say put some photos in now so you can see the building work in progress and what we actually had to live through while this was going on. And then I'll move on to the next room.
Moving on to the next room now, guys. This is behind this um, partition wall that we had built in the, the hallway. Um, it's a little separate area and the bathroom, uh, one of the building regs was we had to have um, a disabled bathroom in the property. So this bathroom that I'm going to show you now has been adapted for um, anybody who's disabled. So if we do sell the property in the future, then, you know, it, it's open on the market to anybody really, especially if they have a disability. So... We've got these beautiful glass oak doors with the, the glass in and on all of the doors, I think apart from one room, no, no, all the, all the doors, sorry, have got these biometric locks on. So you just pop your thumb on and it opens up. They're not set up at the moment because as I say, there's only me and Les here. So there we go. So I'll just show you in here. This is the little hallway with the... um upright radiator and that's a fuse box up there that's got to be painted and um, a door handle put on it that's the job that's got to be done and then through here this is the um, like the emergency system that you have to put in for the disabled so that's on the outside and this is the disabled toilet this area here that I'm showing you now this toilet and bedroom are what were the girls cloakroom and the girls toilets and as I say I'll put pictures at the end of the little video so you can see what it was like before so this is the bathroom let me turn the light on it's um, like a, a stone colour in here with these um, mosaics just down the wall there this is a walk-in shower or riding shower you know if you're in a wheelchair there's some more elephants down there in the shower with you and that's the shower and um, you can take that one off or you know you could, this one here this comes off and then that one is just the over the top part so yeah that's the um shower the toilet is higher than a normal toilet again for disabled reasons and the sink is lower than a normal sink so a wheelchair can fit underneath it as well and i've just got a little basket down there and then on the windowsill we've got the blinds again and then this is the windowsill with just my little knickknacks on and a mobile elephant and then again the upright um, radiators and that's pretty much it in here really I am thinking about changing the accessories in here from gold to black I think I am going to do it and I'll just um, sell or give away these um, bits and pieces in here on the Facebook marketplace so yeah that's um, the little disabled bathroom there's the pull cord up there which needs to be hung down. That in the corner there is from the old alarm, so that's got to be chopped off. Oh yeah, it's just um, nice and plain, really, and uh, accessible for disabled, as I said. So that is the disabled bathroom. And then you come out here, as I say, that was the girls' cloak room. And then this room that we're going into now is one of our favourite rooms in the house. Uh, this was the girls' toilets. The transformation of this room is unbelievable. So I'll just pop the light on. I have got the uh, lamps on as well, but I'll pop the light on. That TV has got to go on the wall. We haven't got round to doing that yet. Again, we've got the upright radiators. All the rooms have got spotlights in the ceiling, apart from the hallway, which I showed you. Let me just close the door. And there's oak doors on all of the rooms, some with glass, some without. Oh, I've just noticed there's a bulb gone in my, my lamp. I'll have to change that. So this furniture was from Oak Furniture Land. The lamps, I have got some spare bulbs, so I'll have to do that when I just noticed, were off Facebook Marketplace. The bed was from um, a company in Leeds, I think. Can't remember the name of them now. 
but yeah i absolutely love this bed and it is so comfortable and the bedding was from b and i think and then there's a little end tray here a little tray with another elephant on a candle and some um little faux flowers in a vase that's the window with the blinds again we've got these blinds all the way round and again this was from oak furniture land picture was from pound stretcher i believe years ago and then there's just some ornaments on here that says a girl should be two things classy and fabulous as said by coco chanel if you guys uh, follow me regular you know i love coco chanel and then there's just some little candle holders, some more elephants. This here is like, um, we was going to have a door here, but we decided against it. I'll just pull it open so you can see. It's just, um, it's just a window with, and it's just blocked in at the bottom. We was going to have a door there out onto the front, but we decided against it. So we just had the blinds up there and you can just pull the blinds and it's hid behind there. So yeah, this was the girls' um, toilets. And I absolutely love this room. I have got to get some prints for up there and the TV. I think I might go with, um, I've saw a TV unit kind of thing to match this furniture on out furniture land. So instead of putting it onto the wall, I might just put it onto a unit. So that's another job that needs doing. And all the plug sockets by the beds have got the USB in as well. So yeah, that was the girls' toilets and the uh, transformation. As I say, I'll show you some pictures now and you'll see what it was like before. Moving on to the next room. This room that we're going to go into now, guys, when we um, designed it, we had the idea that this would be like a little separate, like apartment type thing, if you will. Um, this area was the boys changing rooms and the boys toilets. Now, the one room is a little bit of a, a dumping ground at the moment with boxes from Christmas and clothes and stuff. So please don't judge. It's all got to be um, put out into the um, loft storage above the garage. And I just haven't got round to it yet. So you'll see when we walk in there. But um, again, we've got the biometric um, locks on and the glass and oak doors. And I'll just turn the light on in here. So as you walk in, this is how it is. This, as I say, was originally the boys' cloakroom. Um, along that back wall there was all coat hooks. And do you remember when you was at school, you had those little benches with the baskets underneath to put your shoes in and stuff? They was all around there. That is a door out into the side of the property. Uh, we're hoping to have a little patio area built out there in the future as well. Let me just show you. And you can see um, the community centre next door. So we're hoping... Hang on, let me just... That's the community centre that's next door on our property as well. Um, but we're hoping to have like a little patio area built here for this particular part of the house. As I say, it's like a little um, flat, if you like, 
there's a bathroom a bedroom and a sitting room here so yeah that's what we plan on doing to that in the future this sofa i got from scs in telford um these ornaments i'll just pop them back because that's where i was just filming uh they were from b and I i do believe and then this is just a huge bowl with some ball lights in it and then you've got the tv over there on the um oak stand which was from a guy on facebook marketplace i think and then round here there's a floor lamp with another elephant you see the theme there's elephants everywhere and then behind the door here there's my ring light yeah you know this is the room that i'm filming at the moment and again the upright radiators and uh, an onion lamp there that my friend from up north gave me a while ago and i absolutely love it and then this little room here let me just go back out and show you that door wasn't there originally that door was just blank. It was a wall. So we knocked that out and put the door in. The door to this toilet was originally here. So we bricked it up, had it bricked up, plastered over it and moved it around this side. It was the staff toilet. It was absolutely poxy when we moved in. It was vile. So it all got ripped out. You will see photos at the end, like I say, of each clip. Um, and then we put knock this out and add the door put in here for this little ensuite bathroom so i just i think the light might be on yeah i'll just show you in here so it's only small but it's functional so you walk in and there's just your basic toilet and sink the toilet was originally here and the sink was down there and we, we moved it all around and then that's just the little windowsill you come in and the upright radiators again and then behind the door there's now a walk-in shower with the glass screen and the spotlights in the ceiling so this was another real transformation this room was awful it was black with damp it was vile the floor was awful so this you know little area here took on a real proper transformation and we've got all the light gray tiles porcelain tiles on the side walls and dark gray on the end walls and on the floor there um, this little ship thing here i got from a local garden center and the mirror and the um, anchor there were from b and I do believe. And then there's just the, you know, the little bits and pieces that you put your toothbrush in and stuff. And that's it really in here. So yeah, this is like a little self-contained part. The living room and then there's a toilet and then i'll show you the bedroom now this bedroom is absolutely rammed full of stuff so as i say please don't judge so this used to be the boys toilets oh my god let me just turn on the light look at all the clothes and stuff on the bed oh my god and all the christmas stuff is still in here right these wardrobes here this area where these wardrobes was, was the urinal, believe it or not. And then along that wall there was um, the toilet cubicles. And in that corner there was like a little cleaning sink and stuff behind a door. So this room is a, a work in progress at the moment. The, all these clothes are going to go in the wardrobes. But we haven't got around to putting the rails in yet and this is what's inside them loads of boxes and all sorts of stuff in there more clothes so it's all got to be sorted out and um put up the loft in the garage and what we need hung up in here so at the moment this is the situation this bed was bought from a local bed company here in mid wales TV's already on the wall and windowsill just basic at the moment. I haven't really done a lot in here, as I say, because it's just um, not being used at the moment. And 
upright radiator again i need some bedside tables the other one to this i've got in my own suite bathroom and um, i just can't make my mind up what type i want there but i want some tall ones so i do keep looking I haven't got one that side and then that little cupboard down there uh, let, again les built in and it's got um a water stop tap behind there again the transformation you know in and there's another one of those doors uh, uh windows over there like in the other room um where i said we was going to have a door but we changed our mind uh so yeah the transformation again it doesn't look much at the moment because it is a little bit messy still in here but if you uh when you look at the photos that i put on at the the end of the clip you'll see the transformation it's uh, it, quite incredible, really. Check out all these clothes. It's, there's just no need. So that's that little area. And I will now... Um, let me just put my cushion right. It's fell down. Uh, I'll now insert some clips for you to see what it was like before. And we'll move on to the next room. So guys, we're back in the hallway again. I just wanted to mention, which I forgot to mention before, here where this cupboard is was originally a door and behind that door was the length of this, a storage room and the width of this here. So there was a, a quite a big storage area where we just used to, you know, dump boxes and stuff. So what we decided to do, well, what Les decided to do, I couldn't get it into my head at first, was break up this wall and then um, the storage area was split into two. And I'll show you on the other side now. So that door got bricked up. And then if we come round here, you would have been walking into the cupboard. This would have been the end of the cupboard from the other side, but now, it's been split into two and in here, oh, it's nice and warm in here. In here is our boiler system for the solar and the heating and stuff like that. And my hoover on the wall and put that stud wall up there. And on the other side of that wall, which would have been still the cupboard is now an ensuite bathroom, which I will show you now. So this door wasn't here. Oh, turn the light off. This door wasn't here originally. This was all um, knocked out and put in as well. And then this room that we're going to go into now, I did show on um, Instagram, uh, um, what do you call it, IGTV, um, just a little quick sneak peek. But this room was the office. Again, the biometric doors. And this was the head teacher's office. And now this was done with Leslie's granddaughter in mind when she comes to stay. So it's quite girly and pretty. And but there's still a few bits to do. So um all on these walls was like old shelves, you know, that with those um brackets that you stick into the uprights and you can move up and down. It it was an horrible wallpaper, it was terrible. So um, that was all stripped out and replastered and everything and this is what it looks like now. So this is the bed, double bed in here 
Uh, got to get some prints for up there. This mirrored furniture was bought from a lady on Facebook Marketplace. Um, got the, the bedside tables, the dressing table, the chair and a rug from her. And then this is the window. This is the only room that hasn't got an upright radiator in because there wasn't really anywhere to put one. So we've just got your normal radiator across there. That's, excuse me, that's the windows with the blinds again. Curtains and curtain rails and tie backs were from B&M. And these candlesticks were from Poundland. Uh, elephant of a company on Facebook can't remember where this is from I've had it for so long this was from home uh, B&M I do believe and Poundland again and then this little area down here was all pipes from the ensuite bathroom which I'll show you in a moment so that all had to be boxed in so you couldn't see the pipes there's going to be a, t a TV on the wall there which we haven't got round to doing yet, but we will do. And then just, you know, your little odds and sods, um, more pictures of shoes, which you guys know I am obsessed with. Uh, some Bluetooth speakers, little Coco Chanel bottle and my Chanel bracelet. Another picture of some shoes, Jimmy Choo. And then this is the makeup area that I use at the moment because you'll see in a moment my um, walk-in wardrobe slash dressing room isn't finished at the moment. Another dumping ground, as you'll see. Um, but this is it that I, I use at the moment. Um, I do intend on getting a Hollywood mirror for there with all the bulbs round. And what Les did, because that box was there and it wouldn't fit right to the wall, he actually took the legs off the back of it and screwed it to the wall. So it was flush and it worked perfectly. So we did keep the legs in case in the future we wanted to move it somewhere else. But at the moment, it's now only got the legs at the front and it's screwed to the wall through the back, which I thought was an absolute magnificent idea. Bless him. So, yeah, that's uh, this little area here. I think that bedding was from um, B&M as well. The cushions I made myself from some Laura Ashley material. And this was a present from my friend over the road. So yeah, that is that little room there. Again, another great transformation. Spotlights in the ceiling. And these red things, if you see them as we're going around, this is all to do with the fire alarm. And then um, this is the other end of the storage cupboard that I was, <clears throat> excuse me, that I was just telling you about. It is now um, an ensuite bathroom. So I'll show you in here now. It's grey and these are like um, textured tiles on the wall here and then we've got the grey porcelain on the wall and floor, dark grey and then there's a walk-in shower behind the door. That wall there wasn't there before, as I say, this was a storage cupboard and the door originally was there. So where I just showed you on the other side where the uh, house alarm is, that's behind there. And then the other side of that wall there is the boiler room. So a real good use of that little space. And I couldn't get into my head at all. Um, but once it started to take shape, I finally was able to see how it was going to look. And I love this little shower room. I very often use this one myself. You know, shower in here and then get ready in there. So yeah, that's uh, the story behind this little area. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to put some more pictures up of what this looked like before, and then we are going to go into the master bedroom.
So guys, we're going to go into the master bedroom now. Again, the glass door with the biometric lock. This room was um, a classroom. The front room that I showed you, the, the you know the pigsty as it is at the moment, that was the main hall and the classroom, and then this room was a classroom as well. I think this was for the infants. So I'll take you in and we will have a look. Let me. Do, I've got some lamps on in here, but I will pop the the light on. So, oops. This is the master bedroom. Now this um, area here that you can see with these two doors, that wasn't there. It was all open, one big room. And then again, we got the upright radiator. On this wall here, this is the TV and the uh, unit, was like a sink and it was terrible in here i hated coming in this room um before it was done it was awful uh, but so again the transformation is unbelievable uh there's my guitar that les bought me during lockdown hoping that i'd learn to play it i still haven't yet i did start but i do intend to do it in the future that door there leads out to like a veranda out onto the back garden which um we're going to have like a patio area there in the future and that mirror is waiting to go up in my arm suite which is going to be do done soon and as you can see it is quite a big room uh, those chairs were from ebay i do believe les got those from ebay uh, they massage you and all sorts of things they're really nice and um, the bed is a seven foot emperor size bed and the bedside tables match the tv one they do all light up i haven't got them plugged in at the moment but they do all light up so yeah and the windows couldn't get any curtains uh couldn't even get a curtain rail to fit this because it as you can see it is huge so we had to go with the blinds which were done by a local company throughout so yeah, that's uh, that little area there with the bed and those bedside uh, lights were from Facebook Marketplace and then there's my dehumidifier there from Amazon and my little bed tray with stuff on that I bought from um, small businesses on Instagram as well and there are just some of my shoe collection which will eventually be going in this room here now this is going to be a small walk-in wardrobe so please excuse the state of it at the moment i know you're not going to judge but i will say it please don't judge so i'm just going to show you what it's like in here look at this again clothes and just crap everywhere so that's where um, a mirror is going to go and then it's quite a high ceiling as you can see so we will be having a floor to ceiling rails and cupboards and stuff in here so we'll have plenty of storage but at the moment i'm living like this more shoes uh, that is full of pyjamas, that's full of clothes, there's more clothes, 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 bags, shoes, clothes, clothes everywhere. So yeah, but this is going to be um, a walking wardrobe eventually. Hopefully by the end of the year that should be done. We're going to start it um, hopefully, um, you know, when the weather gets a bit worse and we can just work inside. Uh, and then this door here takes you into our own suite as i say none of this was here we had all this um built in all this stud wall built in so we could make these two little rooms i could have had um, a bigger walk-in wardrobe but i wanted a bath so i had to compromise i could either go without the bath and have a bigger walk-in wardrobe or have a bath and have a smaller walk-in wardrobe and i really really wanted a bath so i'll just show you the ensuite now which is behind this door here 
So this is my ensuite bathroom and this is one of my favourite places in the house. I love this room. So I've got my big bath, it's oversized, bigger than um, normal bath and wider. And then went for these gorgeous mosaic glass tiles in amongst the grey. We've got the dark grey on the back walls and light grey porcelain on the side walls. This is where that mirror that I've just showed you is going to go. And that's the sink again with matching waterfall tap to the bath. And I think I'm going to change all these again. I think I might go black. I'm not sure yet because I do actually quite like those. And then just, you know, basic toilet. Got a nice candlestick there. A basket with a few bits in. There's that bedside table I was telling you about that um, was in the other room. I'm, I don't know, I want something there, but I'm not sure. So I'll use that at the moment. I think it looks okay. Um, and this bath tray, I managed to get an extending one from Aldi, I think it was, for £5.99, which I thought was an absolute bargain. Um, towel rail in the anthracite grey, the heated towel rail. And then behind the door is the walk-in shower, which is quite big. You could easily fit two people in there. And then that's the shower head. It comes directly out the wall. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this room. I really, really do. It's one of my favourites. And there's my Get Naked sign that I got from um, b and as well. And then we've got the dark grey to match those porcelain tiles on the floor as well. And the spotlights in the ceiling. So yeah, that's um, this is my little sanctuary, this en suite. I love coming in here and having a bubble bath. It's my favourite thing to do. You can hear my feet, uh, my slippers up and down on the floor. So yeah, guys... Um, that's the last room, the, the master bedroom. See my fan? God, that fan is on all year round. It really is hot or cold weather, that fan's on. And then um, just my little bits and pieces of bedding. Those, they were from B&M again as well, as was that. The bedding I have to buy from eBay because of it being seven foot, you can't get it in the, the shops. So there we go. So guys, that's um, the tour done. I'll just flip the camera back round and I will say goodbye to you face to face.
So, my darlings, I really hope that you've enjoyed um, the tour of what we have done so far. Um, please leave some comments and let me know what you think, uh, what's your favourite room, if there's anything that you want to know, anything that you saw that I didn't um, tell you where it was from. Just let me know and I'll let you know where I had it from. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. I've enjoyed doing this little video. Um, I did put a thing over on Instagram saying, you know, should I do a house tour or should I do the motorhome tour? And everybody said, just do both, but we want to see the house tour. So I did that first because there's still a few bits and pieces to do in the motorhome before I can do a tour of that. Uh, the heat, the guys working on the heating and stuff. So anyway, I will do the um, motorhome tour soon. And also, I am going to do a Q&A and I left uh, the you know the thing on my Facebook uh, on my Instagram story saying if, if you've got any questions ask me anything anything at all any subject anything that you want to know ask me a question and I know not all you guys are over on Instagram so leave any questions that you've got down below for my Q&A anything that you'd like to know um, I'm quite lucky. I've had some real good ones. I really have. And I'm really looking forward to doing that Q&A. So if you've got any questions, guys, anything you want to know, any subject, anything, anything, no holds barred, just leave it down below and I will make an out of it and I'll answer the questions in my Q&A, um, which is not, not the next video, but the one after that so the next one should be the um motorhome tour so anyway that's enough of me rambling on bloody hell this video has gone on long enough i should imagine if you're still here thanks um so yeah i'm gonna go please don't forget to like and subscribe and help my channel get out there and you know break that youtube out youtube algorithm which is quite difficult to break but you know we're getting there and thank you as well to all my new subscribers oh, i'm over 200 now i'm so happy about it. it's like another milestone done so yeah thanks guys um so yeah i'm gonna go now and edit this video and have some food so i'll see you all soon i really hope you've enjoyed it i love you all loads thank you so much bye